So here we are with the Samsung Galaxy S5. As you can see, it looks uh, pretty similar to the S4. Um, you can probably tell the difference from the back there. It's got these perforated things on the on the cover here. It's got a 16 megapixel camera on the back. And this here is not the flash. It's actually a heart rate monitor. And so it's the first smartphone to have one of those. Now on the front, uh, Samsung's kind of played down the touchways interface. This is running Android 4.0. 4.2 KitKat. Um, as you can see, Samsung has kind of redesigned some of the some of the apps here. It looks a bit more like Tizen, if I'm to be honest with you. It's added uh, quite a few new features. So if we check out the power saving. Um, we've got this ultra power saving mode here um, that changes the whole screen to black and white um, and switches off anything apart from the apps here, which you can see to save uh, power and Samsung claims that you can get up to 24 hours of usage when you're in this mode here. As you see it's taken quite a while to shut down some of the features. There we go. So at the moment I've only got these three apps enabled but I can choose another email that I, another app that I want to enable. Uh, so switch that back, disable that and go back to the uh, the main screen. Now Samsung has also added a uh, fingerprint scanner onto the home button down here which I'll show you in just a moment. Uh, it's very similar to Apple, you basically have to run your finger down eight times I believe to register each fingerprint and you can register three fingers uh, at a time. So here I've set my thumb up and I scroll down and there we go, it's uh, quickly gone into the uh, Home screen there, and this is a, a 5.1 Super AMOLED HD display. And it's powered by a quad core 2.5 gigahertz Qualcomm processor. Just another uh, new feature is when you swipe towards the left, it brings up this My Magazine uh, Samsung app. So, uh, no Google now there, as you can with other applications, other Android smartphones. Um, it's going to start shipping on uh, April the 11th and three Vodafone and everything everywhere have confirmed that they will be stocking the device. Um, prices have yet to be announced, but we'll keep you updated.